Hey, what's going on, Moss? Oh, just heading down to the waterfront there to take in a few of those 2014 celebrations and have a few of my pops. What about you? I'm just, I'm just taking her easy today. Do you know any idea like what those 2014 celebrations are all about? Or? Yeah, I have no idea to be honest with you. No, I don't really know either. Let's maybe we should find out and see what, see what they're all about. Yeah, maybe. Right, this is where it all started, Province House in 1864. On September 1st, 1864, the meeting that led to Confederation happened right in this spot. So this is exactly where we're standing, where the founding fathers of our country stood. And uh, among them was Canada's first Prime Minister, John A. Macdonald. 2014 marks the 150th anniversary of the Charlottetown Conference. And to celebrate that, me and uh, John A. here are talking about how there are 150 events throughout PEI happening this year. Uh, to celebrate the 150 years of uh, since the Charlottetown Conference. Being on the East Coast, PEI has a lot of historical sites. We're not going to focus on that. We're going to focus on the now and the 2014 year because we already learned about all that historical stuff in class. We're not here to talk about the Charlottetown Conference. We're here to talk about what's happening in 2014. Founders Hall in 2014. It's going to be our job for this project to show you guys a little bit about what's going on, um, what there is, and what everybody can do during uh, the summer of PEI 2014. First things first, let's start off with the list of things that our tourists can do. PEI has lots of great beaches. Liquor stores. Great golf courses, more liquor stores, and lots of great views, and more liquor stores. We're here at the Charlottetown Event Grounds. This is going to be one of the main spots for PEI 2014. There will be a concert here pretty much every week, either between here or the Celebration Zone downtown. Uh, some of the people that are coming here include Shania Twain, Classified, The Bare Naked Ladies, and Tegan and Sarah. Should be a great summer here at the Charlottetown Event Grounds. We're here at Confederation Landing Park on the Charlottetown waterfront. So this summer the PEI government is going to take this park and basically turn it into another downtown. There's going to be live concerts every week, uh, different little mini restaurants, and a whole lot of stuff to do. It goes from Canada Day until uh, the anniversary of the Charlottetown Conference in the first week of September. If people don't like all the excitement and crowds downtown, you can sure make your way to one of our local parks to take a load off. Yeah. Well, there's people visiting historic sites such as Fanning Bank or Beaconsfield. Hopefully there'll be many people spending their money at Island Businesses. A lot of Island Businesses are looking to capitalize on the 2014 tourism season. Places like here, Although there are a lot of family friendly events, it's also important for the government to appeal to students too. Because if uh, students come to PEI and they like it enough, you never know, they may even decide to go to school here next year. 2014 is a big year for PEI tourism. Not only because there's a lot of tourists coming, but because a lot of tourists are coming for the first time. We need to do our best to try and impress them to keep them coming back for another year. The PEI government has been putting a lot of money into its 2014 celebrations and whether you like it or not, there's going to be a lot of people here this summer. Some locals don't like the, all the tourists here. They find it clogs up their streets and creates lots of traffic. Oh, whether you like it or not, you're going to have to suck it up because they're going to be everywhere from our streets, our neighborhoods, our stores, our work, and even our golf courses. There will be a lot of people here in PEI this summer. It's hard to believe that our whole country started here in uh, Charlottetown in 1864 at the Province House. 2014 is a big year for PEI. In the end, whether you think it's worth celebrating or not, there's lots going on here in PEI this summer. And it's a great chance for locals to take it all in. We've got a great island here in PEI. We should be proud to show it to everyone. 